My name is Kainton the Genius, and in this lesson I'm going to teach you how to perform linear regression in Python in about 5 minutes. Just before I continue, I would like to mention that linear regression is a way to find a relationship between data sites. You have X and you have Y, as you can see on the screen, and you want to find the relationship between them. The relationship between X and Y normally is in form of an equation that says F of X is equal to an, a, an equation, so f of uh, y is equal to f of x, but we don't know this function. But we are assuming, if it's in linear regression, we are assuming that the relationship is a linear relationship in this form. Let me just write it out on the screen. So we are saying that relationship might be something like y is equal to mx plus c. So that is the assumption, and now we want to find what this equation is all about. In another way, it can be written as y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x is about the same thing. Now m is the slope of the graph, also called the coefficient of the regression line, and c is the intercept. c corresponds to beta 0 and b1 corresponds to, to m. So if we perform the regression in Python, we are going to find all these these variables and we are going to fix it and we find our equation for this line. If you want to get like this, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and you will always get updates when I make new lessons. If it's also informative for you, please share it around and also like it. So I'm going to open Jupyter Notebook. In case you don't know, Jupyter Notebook is a tool that you use to write Python scripts for data science and machine learning. So Jupyter Notebook comes with Anaconda and you know Anaconda is a distribution of Python and everything is just free. So Jupyter Notebook opens up by first starting up the server and then it starts up the client in this way, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'd like to reduce the size of the screen. So uh, let's see if I can increase this. Okay, fine, so just go to new and just say Python 3. And then let's just name it LR, LREG. Let's just call it LREG, or just call it anything. So when you click here, you can rename it just like I did just now. So let me show you how to transfer this data from Microsoft Excel to Python, because that may be something you may think of doing. There are two ways. You can actually save it and import it using Pandas, but I'll not follow that way. I'm simply going to copy this uh, file, copy this data from Excel right into Python. So the first thing you want to do is just click on it and just say copy. Just go to another cell and just go to paste, drop down the space and look for transpose and it transposes in this way. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to go back to Jupyter Notebook. So let me put it downwards here. Mm -hmm. So there are some things we need to import, some models that we need to import. So one of them is NumPy as MP. NumPy is used to manage calculations or arithmetic or numbers in Python. Import matplotlib.pyplot as, as PLT. Pyplot is used for plotting. And then we have from skline.linear model imports linear regression. So these are the three things we want to import. So once you do this, just click on run. So the next thing is to use this data to bring this data from Excel into Python. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say x is equal to, first I'm going to mp.array because this has to be an array of numbers. So y is equal to mp.array. All right, so at this point, just go to Excel. So let me just put it this way so that we can see everything. So just go to Excel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me just reduce the size. Oh, sorry. Okay, no problem. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do, just right click here and copy it, let's say copy 
and then come here and paste control V that is for X and then come here this is for Y just copy it and just paste inside the square brackets. The next thing you want to do is to remove all the symbols that have been added. I don't know what they are. So replace them with commas. So I'm going to just copy this comma across. So you can see that this is one easy way to transfer uh, Microsoft Excel data to Jupyter Notebook. So just keep replacing all the commas. Alright, so once we are done, we'll just continue. So, I recommend you pull along in this tutorial so that it becomes clear to you. Alright, so we have all this data imported. So we have X and Y right here in Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to run it to make sure everything is okay. The next thing is to declare a linear regression object. So let's call it Linreg. Or well, let's just call it model. You can choose any name you want for it. So model is equal to linear Alright, so I always like to run each time I write something so it gives me an error. So from okay, so I'm going to run here, run here and run as well. So it's a linear regression, it's not defined, so I'm making a mistake here. So all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to reshape my data. So I'm going to say X is equal to X. You always have to do this, more like a pre-processing step to make your data easier for the regression to be performed. So you say minus one to plus one. All right, so X is equal to X dots reshape. Mm -hmm. So so the next thing you want to do is now to fit the linear regression line model dot fit x and y okay so good so the next thing you want to do is to now predict y values so when you are, you are using the x values now because we've fitted this line through the through the data set so it has x values can be used to predict new values of y so let's say y predict phase. So this is like a new set of y values. This time the model is predicting y values. Model dot predicts and we are giving it x values. Alright, so I'm going to run as well. The next thing I will do is to now plot the scatter plot and fit a linear regression line through. So I'm going to say plt plt dot scatter. I'm going to say x and y. The next line plt Dot plot. The next line, the plot now is a line. The first one is just a scatter plot. The next, this PLT I'm writing now is a plot of the line that has to fit through x, y, right? And the color of the line is going to be, uh, let's use a red line. And the next thing I'm going to do is PLT.show. Alright, so at this point I'm going to just run it. I can see that we have the linear regression line fitted through. So now if I take out this, you can see that we'll have just a scatter plot. If I take out the linear regression line, we'll have only a scatter plot. But if we have the linear regression line, it tries to fit through the data. So this is how to make a linear regression line. The next question you may ask is, what of the equation of the line that we mentioned before? So let's go back to this page where we have the equation of the line. So we want to now predict, we want to now determine, as it were, the values of the coefficient mm -hmm. as well as the intersects, all right? What is happening here? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to say model. So to get the coefficient, that is the value of C, you are simply going to say model dot Quirks model dot quirk that gives you the value of the question. I'm going to run it. Sorry, model dot quirk. So the underscore is going to be after after it. So we have 2.14. The next one is the intersects. 
model dot intersect. I'm going to run it as well. So you have 12.0. So it means that the equation of this line will be y is equal to. So let me just write it out. So the equation of this line will be something like this. Or the relationship between this x and y that we have in the original data set. We have the the in the model the coefficient to be 2.14x plus 12.05. So using Python we perform linear regression and we found out the relationship between the data set that we are given. So this is basically how linear regression works. I'd like to thank you for viewing and also if you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button below this video now to subscribe to my channel. Like it if it's been informative for you and leave a comment for me if there, if there is something you like to let me uh, know about this video.